My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we want to get into um, piston speed calculations. That's the one. Yeah. Right then, so uh, two times our stroke, stroke times our RPM, oh, RPM jumping ahead over 60. So why is this 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 way? So our stroke, we're trying to work out uh, mean average piston speed. So we are trying to work out the average, and this will become important in a minute. So. Two times our stroke because our stroke is one down, right? So one down is not enough. We want to know about one up as well. So two times our stroke is back and up. So, you know, up and down, that's two strokes. So let's just say our stroke is, what did I write down? Oh, I can't bloody remember. Oh yeah, our stroke for RSV, that was it, which is 66 millimeters. Uh, we times that by two, that's 132 uh, times by two is 132 millimetres which in metres because we have to do this by metres because we're doing um, metres per second so we've got our time factor there so this is 0 0.132 metres that's how our stroke we've got to times this by our RPM which is 12k and what did I come up with that one I can't fucking remember now oh yeah that's uh, 1500 and 84 meters this is meters per minute because we timed it by our rpm and our rpm is in minutes and this is why we've got to divide the whole thing by 60 because uh there are 60 seconds in a minute because we want meters per second not meters per meters per minute which equals 26.4 meters per second now we have to be very very careful here because this is an average speed and as we know with our piston, our piston starts at the top at zero. Right, our piston starts off at zero. So, um, this is average. Our piston starts dead, dead centre at the top. It is dead, it's stopped. Then it accelerates and then it slows down and it stops again and then it comes back up. So now we've done that calculation with our up and down. This is the average across the whole thing. When we actually calculate it, our piston speed does this. It accelerates to its maximum number and then it goes the opposite way. Here it dead, so that's bottom dead center. And this is TDC, like so. So if we say that the SVs um, just say for this side, not the whole thing obviously, because if you did an average, the average would actually go through there. But if we just take just one stroke, our average speed here is 26.4 meters per second. That's actually not, as you can see, this is 24 meters per second. This isn't, this is a lot higher, so our peak here is a lot higher. What did I work out as? Uh, 44.2 44.2 meters per second that is our maximum uh, speed which as you can see it's almost it's, it's not far off it's nearly double it's nearly double the speed so when you hear people say stuff like oh you don't have piston speeds go over 30 meters per second that is just an average the SV's piston speed at 12,000 rpm is going 44 meters per second um, and how do we work out this? So, obviously, to get a graph like that and the graph that I've put up, um, you have to get a bit more into it. So, basically, you've got angular uh, omega for angular velocity, and that's times our radius, and then it's, oh god, it's sine theta plus, oh fuck's sake, sine theta uh, no two sorry two <laughs> um, divided by 2n like so that's how you work out your angular uh, 
that's how you work out your piston speed. Now you can see straight away, you don't have to worry about this, angular speed here, uh, angular velocity is in radians, which I fucking hate. Uh, radians will go into the fuel. Oh no, fuck it, we'll do it now. So a radian basically is if you pick a point centre and you have a radius and a radius and a, this distance here, um, that ra radius, radius, they're all equal basically. And it turns out it's 57 point... I can't remember. 57.29, that's it. It's the, always the last bit I struggle with. 57.29 degrees. And it's 2 pi... Um, 2 pi radius, which is how you calculate radians. But anyway, radians is... Yeah, I, I hate radians. I always have done. So you've got your angular velocity uh, times by your radius. And then you've got all these um, sine theta. These are all angles, basically. So you can see there you've got an angle. And these are all crank angles. So if you've got 30 degrees, that would go there. And if you've got... Uh, that would be 60 degrees, because it's 2 times this angle. So the 2n... So the n in all this is, oh, it is your um, crank ratio divided by your radius. Ooh. That's what that is, it's divided by 2n. And this is how you create these plots. Um, and this is how you create these plots. Fucking thorn. <laughs> Isaac will be in a minute, by the sounds of it. Um... Yeah, so that's how you create them plots. Because, like I say, it is just an average. You know, when you see all these things. And people, they have to be careful that they make sure that people understand that that is the average piston speed. And that things go a lot higher than that. So that's how to work out. That's two ways to work out. There's how to work out piston speed averages. And how to actually work out piston speed um, in relation to your... Um, crank angle. Now, once we've seen those uh, crank angles that are in that equation, you can see you've got angular velocity, you've got radius, you've got your crank angle in there, your con rod. Your crank angle is your con rod. Uh, the ratio of your... Crank angle is the ratio of your con rod to your um, radius, your stroke. Uh, you can see that, and we're going to get into this in the future, I know people keep on asking me about it, um, but like I said, we need to do these things first so we can understand more first. Um, because con rod angle isn't just about piston speed, it's also about flow velocities. We've just seen that by doing um, port velocities and all the rest of it. That if you start changing that theta in that equation, then you are going to start changing your outcomes, your actual piston speeds. If you change your piston speeds, that changes your flow velocities in your ports, which affects your volumetric efficiency. We'll get to all of it. But you can see there's a plan here. I'm trying to stitch all this stuff together. There's no point just shouting about con rod angles. If I start going, so today we're going to do conrod angles, then you'll, I'll start going down the other rabbit hole the other way and start talking about valves, and you'll be like, what the fuck? So I'm trying to get all these things sorted out um, so it makes sense to you. Hope that makes sense. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Um, and we're going to talk more about the SV in the next video. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.